profile each kid under their best trait. Like Tommy Orbach, that jokester is under H for hilarious. And David Epstein, he's under M for married. Wait, we have a student who's married? No, his parents were married when they had him. Not me, I'm a bastard. Don't tell anybody. I tell everybody. Joe Abel is under O, because I'm always like, oh, Joe, get out of here. Uh, Caleb, can you not smoke? Yeah. All right, everybody. You know the routine, guys. Maybe he's possessed by a dead altar boy. I was for a while. That's how I know Latin. Spiritus, did them mortuum. Don't let him finish! Yes. Well, we're glad you came. <laughs> what are you guys drinking? Oh, I'm not. You don't want to see me drink. I get really emotional and clean out my purse. <laughs> it's nuts. Huh. Well, that was a long way around, no thank you. Uh, yeah, oh. she does that. Okay. <laughs> I need to experience real, hard-working, regular, manual labor jobs. You know what I'm saying? My aunt owns a landscaping company. Landscape? Yes! Yes! OK, you're doing great, by the way. Really fitting in. My dad's looking for someone to fill a shift at the butcher shop. All right, this is great. What else? You could be a biology teacher. That's a regular job. Yeah, OK. I'll start teaching you guys biology. Really? Just kidding. What else, guys? Shout them out. My uncle runs a car repair. My dad does demolition. Good, good. What else? You're all set at the butcher shop. <laughs> awesome. Oh, sorry I'm late. Damn, girl. A 55-inch flat screen TV? Oh, that is going to bring in so much money. Forget porridge. Those orphans are about to have some r r r r regular soup. OK. Uh, actually, this is a gift from an angel. <laughs> That is so sweet, but it, it, it's not a big deal. And she's humble. Mm. Amazing. Mommy Warbucks. Mm -hmm. A regular mother Toledo. Oh. Whoa, Vic, where's your signature grandpa sweater? Where's your fancy Harvard job? Oh. Ooh, OK. Nice comeback. I like this attitude. I don't know what's going on. Cool. Hey, ladies, we're all basically like friends and family at this point, right? <laughs> I am finding it impossible to secure a cell phone plan under my name. Uh, and you want to piggyback on one of our plans? Ha. Jack, I have way too many cousins for you to doggy style on my plan. OK, well, it's piggyback, but yeah. Uh, you know, Jack, my family plan is the bum, and I'll let you get in on it. Yes. But you have to do something for me in return. You have to help me kick my current boyfriend to the curb. OK, well, that actually sounds kind of fun. Yes. Yes. Death. Mr. Griffin? What? What? I, I told you today was a day for quiet reflection. Can we at least do a Miles mission? Not needed today. I'm writing a book that's going to crush him. So everyone stop talking. Just go to sleep. Does anyone know any lullabies? You're always reading in here. Want to join our book club? Oh, that's you fun. should. We're reading The Question Is the Answer by this hot buttered crumpet named Miles Leonard. Oof. I think you would like it, Jack. It's philosophy, but there's like a point to it. And how, pray tell, did you come by this fine piece of literature? It was Oprah's book club pick this month. She says the best place to read it is, quote, on a beach that you own. Okay. <laughs> Raw horse meat. It's a delicacy in Japan. I'll try it. My palate is sophisticated. Arigato. Marissa, give me your jacket. Give me your jacket. Okay. Okay. You just crapped your caprice, didn't you? 